Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather here. Still looking at the three storm systems within this next cycle. And um, so my headlines really haven't changed. Extending it through early 311 now. Um, I think the snow's probably going to hang on in southern Colorado and northern New Mexico into 311. But the first storm is definitely the warmest, and that's underway right now across a lot of the Intermountain West. Second storm will be a little bit colder, and then the third storm appears to me to be the coldest and the most potent. Uh, it's probably going to drop as much snow as the first two combined just because things just look so much better or graphically speaking with the third storm um, So let me just show you what the setup is here on infrared satellite So you've got your jet out here. It's amplified up into uh, Alaska and then it's dipping down and supporting uh, the first two storm systems across the West so let me just get a little creative here. We'll change color. There's your first low. That's the warmest Here's the second one. It's a little colder. The third one's way up here, and then there's another one behind it. This low right here is kind of caught in the southern branch. I probably should have uh, marked that just kind of like this, running into the southern U.S. So essentially what we're looking at here, and let me just uh, mark these. So there's your first storm. There's your second storm right there. And then the third storm of the bunch is up here. So the third one will come up over the top, grab more cold air, and then race down in next week between the 9th and the 10th. That's the timing of the third storm, 9th, 10th, maybe into the early on the 11th, like I was saying, southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. Um, I talked about a lot of this on my blog post this morning. If you're curious, I do post mostly, um, almost every single day, um, five, six, seven days a week. So check it out, chrystomer.com, the blog. I, I do a, sort of a headlines. I look at what's going on now. And I actually talked about beyond 312 and even beyond 315 as to what to expect. And I also have a lot of snow graphics on there. So check that out. Please subscribe as well if you haven't already done that. Let me just show you what the, uh, the GFS model is uh, thinking about all of this. And uh, so here we go. It's interpretation. Uh, let me take you into Sunday morning. So the, let me just take you back. Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, first storm exits, moves out. Second storm comes in right behind it. And by Sunday morning, that first storm is already up in the northeast as mainly rain. Second storm comes in Wyoming, southern Idaho, Utah, Colorado, northern New Mexico. And then again, this one's a notch colder, so it's got more snow than the first storm. Um, and then that one moves away. Here's Monday morning. It's largely moving away. Snow diminishes except for parts of Colorado and northern New Mexico. It hangs on a little bit longer Monday afternoon, Monday night. And then it's gone, but look what's coming in the uh, uh, just behind it. Here's Tuesday morning. Okay, so here's Wednesday morning. This is the ninth. Next storm. And again, this is the coldest one of the three, and I think the most potent dropping down through Montana. Idaho, the Pacific Northwest, Wyoming, uh, Utah, Colorado, and that's on Wednesday. So it actually starts in the northern tier states on Tuesday, the 8th. And then by the time we get into Thursday, it's, uh, it's spinning up in Colorado. Um, it's still snowing in Wyoming, Utah, and it's snowing in uh, northern New Mexico into the 11th. There's the morning of the 11th, and you can see southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. It's hanging on, and then it moves away. And then after that, um, high pressure will build in for a few different uh, for a few days. Um, all right, let's take a look at my uh, forecast totals here. All of today through the seventh. Um, so you're looking at uh, what's uh, occurring now with the first storm and then also the second storm. So uh, nine, ten, eleven inches over the Tetons, thirteen, fourteen over the uh, the Wasatch, about half that in Bryan Head, and in Colorado anywhere from six to probably. 12 inches from most of the resorts, a little bit more over Wolf Creek, some nice totals in northern New Mexico, and again, that runs through the 7th. Then we get into the third storm, and this will go the 8th through the 14th. So um, pretty good numbers with this one. Again, it's probably at, at least the, what's, what we're going to see with the first two storms combined. We'll get that additional amount with this third storm. So. Um, another 10 to 20 over the Tetons, another 13 to 14 um, over the Wasatch, and another 8 to maybe 16 in Colorado. So, um, again, I think this third storm is the most potent. And, and you can see what it does to the Pacific Northwest as it comes out of the PNW first and moves in. You're looking at uh, some moderate to heavy snows up there. 
um, finally cold enough to bring some of those snow levels down. They've been so high as of late, but I think this third storm will bring some of those levels down. Um, so this is going to be a really good period. And the, the biggest impact is 8, 9, 10 on the Intermountain West coming out of uh, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, into northern New Mexico. Um, and again, it'll probably roll into early 11 on uh, southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. So the numbers look good there. Um, let me talk about the Northeast. The first storm is going to be a warm one with mainly rain on Sunday. But then next week, we could have one or two different storms that bring snow, especially to northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine. Um, and that's where the best snow is going to be through the 14th. So there you go. That's the way it's looking right now. Always appreciate you guys uh, tuning in here and take care.